And so like Prince was playing, and then like as soon as Prince started playing, it was like T minus two minutes to come down. You know what I'm saying? It was broke because I love Prince. Huh. Oh, holy fuck. shit! We're oh, both fuck. Oh, um, oh god, I'm sorry. Shit. Fuck. Uh, hey, welcome to the uh, podcast. Uh, we're back. We're back for episode three. Three. Uh, another early round was three. Pitcher. B. B tree. <laughs> uh, we'll come up with a fun name. Yeah. We keep it. We keep it fun here. Yeah, we do. Um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed episode two, Electric Boogaloo. Woo! 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 I hope they enjoyed the uh, cover art we came. Yeah, from same. I love that. <laughs> it took, f- took fifteen minutes using two different apps. Hell yeah. Pixlr and Snapchat. Yeah, <laughs> Snapchat's where I make all my memes. Honestly, yeah. Like, this is easy, and there's a lot of tools that are easy to use. It used to be uh, iFunny, but like it, no, everyone stopped using iFunny. Yeah, except for except for our boy, he still loves it. Yeah, it's the only it's the only thing he has. Yeah, it really is, man. Um, you know who you are, and if you're gonna we, send us a meme from there, don't, because we've already seen it. Oh yeah, yeah, I still I still accept it just because I love him. He is my boy. Uh, also, if you're wondering if my head's okay after headbutting the glass cup. I have no feeling in my forehead. Yeah, no, none whatsoever. And that's a story for episode seven. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta make it the full more to hear that wonderful story. I'm we're kidding. Gonna, we don't actually plan that far ahead. We're gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably forget by the time episode seven comes. We'll around. probably stop at six, honestly. <laughs> yep. If you if you guys watch this channel enough, you you know I I upload a little bit, stop for like seven months, and come back randomly. Yeah. You know, like John Trombo with way shittier content. You win way low, more low of budget. <laughs> oh, way more. He has like a whole team now. <laughs> if you can't tell by the cups, they are Cincinnati Bingo cups. So yeah. you know, you know, we're two and fourteen over here. Yo, oh, yikes! <laughs> they start a good season, man. Still, what you could have been over sixteen. That would have been great. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Have. <laughs> it would not have. It would be as good as watching Wendy Williams. <laughs> oh no. Um, uh, so we got questions this week. For, yeah, finally. Finally. Um, we didn't get any last week, so we just had to ramble on Google for most of it. And thank God Brooke, uh, Brooke called, which is my sister. She called and kind of like saved our ass near yeah, the end of the podcast. Because that would have been all filler. <laughs> oh, yeah. It would have been like weird stories coming straight off the dome. Yeah. Um, my nose is a little stuffy for some reason. I don't know. I woke up yesterday and it was stuffy. Hope I'm not getting sick again. Kill it. Kill your nose. <laughs> I have a little thing right here that's like supposed to like prevent it. I haven't even used it. Hold on. First. First. It's medicated. I don't really know what it is, but I hate doing it. Just a... So you don't use it, and the first time you decide to use it, it's on the podcast. <coughs> Woo! Uh, Be ashamed. Sorry. It's going to get really loud and like... God damn. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> we're, we're not good. You're better than this. No, I'm not. Uh, are you? <laughs> oh, I work at a Walmart. <laughs> God. <laughs> I feel that. I'm not better than anything. See, I originally had a plan to wear the like long sleeve like down to yeah. throw everyone off, but then like, I rolled them up all over a second. Oh, I brought my long sleeve in to wear it, and now I'm not wearing it. <laughs> stupid. Nah, that's, that's cool, cool, man. I rolled up the sleeves while we were setting things up. Yeah. Actually, we were watching Eddie Burback's new video. Yeah, fine. So Ooh. go watch Eddie Burback's new video. It's about how Xbox lied to us all. Yeah. It's really good. We just watched it before filming. 
this podcast. Go watch it. Support Eddie Burback and also go support Gus Johnson too. Yeah, but fuck Wendy Williams. Seriously, fuck Wendy Williams. Oh, yeah. Let's kill her. Not and James Corden and James, Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, fuck you, Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> God, I hate you, Jimmy Kimmel, so much. Fuck, you're the worst. You want to go ahead and jump into the questions here? Fuck yeah, dude. All right. Taylor Bollinger's back uh, with questions. Uh, is how to get people to vote. Uh, how, well, people our age to go vote again. Uh... I really don't know, man. Same. <clears throat> like, I, I, and I think it's because I don't really follow politics. Same. And honestly, like, like I, I get the question, but like, in all honesty, this is like the most our generation has ever cared about voting. Yeah. Like all these, all these teens going out and supporting Bernie and shit. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, like, if they supported him in the last run, he, right. you know. Yeah. Like. If they would have went out and voted, they would have yeah. had a higher. He would have had a higher chance. Yeah, that's just like the most. <clears throat> this is the most our generation ever going to give a shit about voting. Yeah, I don't really care about so just, politics in general. Yeah, just, just be happy with what you got, man. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to go vote and you don't know where to go vote, I ask your parents. Yeah, they would probably know unless your parents is unless your parents are like mine, or only one of them is registered to vote and they're registered in a different uh, city than where you are currently living in, then. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just guess. Because <laughs> my mom lives in a different city than I do. Right. I mean, it's only like a 30 minute drive to go see her, True. but like, <laughs> she would vote somewhere way different than I would go. Right. Through. And my dad's not registered to vote. Right. Man, the man just turned 68, and never registered to vote once. That's that's dedication. I found out that's also why he's never had to serve jury duty. It's because he's just never registered to vote. And they only pick people who are registered to vote. I gotta unregister, bro. <laughs> I, I didn't want to do jury duty. Because I had to, yeah, I had a jury duty scare because I threw away mail that I didn't even read. <laughs> and that looked dumb. That looked dumb going in there. But like, hey, do I have jury duty? And they're just like, what's your name? I'll go pull you up in the system. And she's like, your name's not in the system. Is your name in it under anything else? And I was just like, now see what happened. Well, <laughs> I had a bunch of letters. I just kind of threw them away. I was even looking through them. And then someone else my age got. She was like, nah, you're fine. And I was like, all right. Macho cool. Burger PSA, open all your mail. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my mom told me that was a good like. I call her. I was like, "Who the hell dumb your son is?" <laughs> she was just like, "Sure," because <laughs> she had a rough week last week, so I'm, I'm sure she needed a, right. a good laugh on how dumb her kid is. Did she answer the phone and say shit? <laughs> no, because she was on the podcast. She was in my. She, her voice was just in my car. Fair enough. Um. Also, uh, town hall down there. Get better signs. <laughs> tell them the story Tell me Yeah I went to go drive there And like It didn't tell me Where to specifically park So like I parked You know where there's This big ass parking deck I parked there And then I walked Reading the signs Very misleading Because you know Pointing You know This way Would yeah. mean it would be In the building Right Pointing up Would mean it's up In the fucking sky <laughs> Or you know Up on a different You know Level yeah. And so I get there And I'm just like Man so I just start walking around the fucking building. So they're probably getting sketched out. I mean, why is this guy just <laughs> walking around? Walking around, <laughs> fucking court continuously house. pulling his pants up because you know his belt doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally figured out which door I'm supposed to go into. Right. Finally. So yeah, it took me like it took me like 10, 15 minutes to figure out how to get to the actual building I was supposed to go to. <laughs> That's great. Um, so yeah, get better signs. Oh yeah, back to the voting thing. Um, yeah, we said all we need to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you don't know where to vote, I guess just ask your parents. If your parents don't know where to go vote, then get better parents. Who is using the internet like a fucking normal human being <laughs> in the year 2020? Um, I don't know if the internet... T- I guess go up to your local... I mean, you register to vote at, a, at the mail office, so I guess go to the mail office. They yeah, should be able to tell you. Right? Go to the mail office. Mail... Male people can answer all your questions. It's true. Any question you have, <laughs> either send it to us and we'll answer it, or send it to the male people. They'll please, answer. They'll please ask send it. it to us. We need questions. We really do. Please, please don't. <laughs> please, please don't leave us hanging again. <laughs> um, you don't want us to rely on Google. You, this, saw, you saw how bad the last episode was. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was. It was. An, that's why it's called Electric Boogaloo, right? Because usually the sequels are worse. <laughs> we needed some sort of wild factor 
Yeah, I think the wow factor was just the just the art. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, just um, also just a friendly reminder: the election's coming up in November. Go out and vote. Yeah, there you go. Make commercials. Tell tell your friends to go vote. Also, any political party, Democratic, Republican, Librarian, Libertarian, whatever, stop stop mailing me shit. I do not care. <laughs> I'm not. If you send me shit, I'm least likely to vote for you now. It's true. If you if you don't send me shit, I'll probably vote for the people that don't send me shit. It's true. So whatever public party is out there, if you send it to my mailbox, I'm not voting for you. It's true. Uh, <laughs> I hate I hate getting like fucking ads in the mail. Right. It's just I don't care. Save it for a skippable thing I can skip on YouTube. Yeah, I'll send right. It to my fucking mailbox. <laughs> the same for the ads on Hulu when I just go take a pee yeah <laughs> and I was like, yeah, they send me stuff I just rip it up and throw it in the garbage right, like, yeah that's why you do it like five minutes yeah you're just wasting <laughs> you're wasting trees and we need trees I need we need trees more than you need votes we need the trees um <laughs> okay <laughs> uh yeah but seriously go vote guys um be, be, that's how you get people to go vote you just tell Macho Burger to tell people to go vote yeah we did that in 2016 I went to go vote, and then I made a video. I was like, hey, go vote. I was just sitting in my car. It's on Instagram. I don't use Instagram very often, if you can't tell by I want to go watch that right after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You probably pulled up now. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think, I don't remember who I, or what I, I don't, I don't remember if it was like the main election, if it was like the primaries, but I remember voting for both of them. That's great. Because I follow my American duties. I will not. I will never discuss what political party I am, because I don't care about politics enough. True. Nor do I pay attention to anything. It's true. Don't know if Macho Burger Productions. Today's election day. Make sure you guys go out there and go vote. Let's do this, guys. Go vote. I love you guys. Stay macho. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ooh. I love it. It's a friendly. I love ad. you guys. Go vote. That's a friendly reminder from 2016. To vote in 2020. And part two of the question, uh, she would like us she would like us to discuss the Amber Heard Johnny Depp situation. I don't really know much about that situation, so I'm going to pull up that up on Google. That's smart, yeah, because I don't either. Um, I just know that Amber, I think, struck him. I well, the reason I don't know much about it is because I work third shift, so my, my time on social media is very limited nowadays. Right, I understand. <laughs> because I'm usually sleeping. Um... Johnny Heard. Nope, don't spell. Um, Johnny. No. That was the first Johnny that popped up for me. <laughs> right just in my head. That's, that's who I which think is, of. No, which is weird because I haven't Googled that man in years. Same. No one, no one has, I don't think. I don't trust Daily Mail because, you know, they just posted something on their Snapchat from like an entire year ago. It's true. Also, I didn't even know they were together. USA. I trust USA today. Yeah, same. There's not many news tri- sites I trust, but I mean, they have USA in the title, so you know. Her quality. <laughs> Johnny Depp's lawyer says, "Load faster." Mm-hmm. Pro, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Um, Johnny Depp and ex-wife Amber both standing by their accusations of abuse toward each other after audio recording surface of the then couple arguing about physical altercations. <laughs> I know she cut off like half his finger. Yeah. That much I do know. God, he looks rough. Old man. Yeah. Yikes. I know I know I know like she's beat the shit out of him a couple times. Mm-hmm. I heard that like uh she shit on like his bed, like like just full on just turd. Like full on poop. <laughs> just Oh wow. Um, yeah, I, I know that much. Um I don't want to have to read it. I want someone to just, like, give me an easy explanation of this. Right. Uh, <laughs> who is Amber Heard? That's a good question. <laughs> that is a good question. The only thing I've ever known her from was fucking Aquaman. Yeah, let's just, let's just read the hashtag justice for Giant Dub. That's probably going to give us more yeah. than what we're bargaining. Because a lot of people apparently on his side, which, I mean, I guess I would do yeah. if I do the whole story. But I don't yet. Uh, this is a lot of a lot to read. See, I know he his career got banned because she was like, "Oh, he hit me," or yeah. or something along that lines. 
Uh, well, we should really research things. Yeah, we should. Uh, I know that uh, his career, his career was already going through a rough patch anyways. Yeah, it was. Before that happened. Yeah. And that just, yeah, just didn't help. Coughing, man. Yeah, it didn't help. Um, so, like, he got canceled from everything, pretty much. Yeah. Which, if, um, because I know they took him out of the Pirates thing after the fifth one. Yeah. Which, but did we really need five of them, though? No. I fell asleep during the fifth one. Did yeah, my dad tell my dad to see it, because I was still working in the movie theater then. I woke up, and I was like, what did I miss? And I'm like, oh, yeah, spoilers, no, spoilers for Pirates. I was like, oh, yeah, she's, she's her fucking dad. And I'm like, what, dude? Yeah. That's just stupid. I remember, but, like, I remember before the whole situation happened, I remember he went on this big-ass rant towards his fans. Yeah, he did. But beforehand, he was like, if you guys really support me, you know, how about support me you know, at the box office when yeah. it really matters? <laughs> and unfortunately, I did, which was bad because that movie sucked. Yeah. Um, see, I've never had beef with Johnny Depp. But, like, Same. see, I'm on Johnny Depp's side in this situation. Same. Because she cut off his fucking finger. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Like, I saw the picture of that, and it's like, man, if if she doesn't get her career destroyed, then what the fuck? <clears throat> like, she used to be an Aquaman 2. What the fuck? You know who should be an Aquaman 2 in her place? Johnny Depp. Bro, that'd be hot. Jason Momoa and Johnny Depp just getting it on, I'd watch that all day. Same, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. You heard it here first, folks. Oh, um, man, I like that. Yeah, fuck you, Amber Heard. Fuck you. Johnny Depp was like a chill guy. He just want, he's like in his at least 50s. Yeah. Hey, Google. How old is Johnny Depp? 56 years old. Okay, Johnny Depp is 56 years old. Uh, he probably just wants to chill around, not do much. Um, because I figured at the age of, if I lived that long, I probably wouldn't want to do a lot. Um, hey, Google. How old is Amber Heard? Amber Heard is 33 years old. She's 33. She's that's still a, young. That's just a crazy age difference. Yeah. Well, my parents are 16 years apart. But they divorced. Yeah, sure. It don't matter. Um, <laughs> uh, Google. Hey, Google. What's the Amber Heard Johnny Depp situation? On the website ibtimes.com, they say, Amber Heard didn't receive what she demanded from Johnny Depp when their divorce was finalized. Several netizens on Twitter called the Aquaman actress a gold digger following her divorce from Depp. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that didn't, that didn't help us. Well, so they are divorced. So that's good for him, I guess. Yeah. He didn't have to worry about her. Well, I guess he still kind of has to worry. Uh, I don't want to ask Google anymore. You got any more questions for Google? No? I'm okay. Good. Okay, so... Apparently she kicked his, she beat him up a couple of times, cut his finger off, uh, things of that nature. I I don't want to have to read all this. Just give me give me the de- give me the details. Um, I don't know why I just didn't go to images. Uh, oh, she admits to hitting him. What? <laughs> she it says she admits to hitting him. Then fuck you. See how many people believe you her taunts him? What a fucking asshole. Yeah, okay, I want Johnny Depp's side. Fuck this bitch. Yeah, fuck you. Amber Heard, if you're if you're even remotely watching this, go fuck yourself. Um That's all I gotta say about it. Yeah, it's fuck, fuck you, it. dude. Yeah, that's bullshit. Like Johnny Depp's just like a reasonable guy, seems seems like a pretty chill guy. Right? And you're just gonna go beat him up and cut off his fucking finger? Fuck you. Um, I hope I hope Amber Heard's career just gets destroyed, man. Same, bro. What, she, what career? Yeah, man. If she, if I saw where like Warner Brothers was considered, no, you shouldn't consider. Just fucking fire. Yeah, yeah I agree. Like fuck. Your movies aren't gonna. Your movies already suck. Yeah, I mean, like it's really not gonna. It's really it, your movies are already terrible. You might as well just like keep, just, keep, keep on a shitty fucking beater. It's not gonna help. Yeah, you. it's not gonna help the you know. Your shitty movies. Uh, okay. Um. They have kids together? That's, 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 that's sad. Johnny. 
debt situation. Why is that a Facebook situation? Boom. I really don't chill on images. <laughs> that was good. I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> Latest news, breaking stories, and comments. I uh, don't want to be independent. Okay. I don't see how that's relevant to him. Oh, all these are videos. I don't, I don't want to get blocked. Yeah, right. Um, so, more of the story. Go fuck yourself, Amber Heard. Agreed, fucker. Um, Giant it up. I hope you get your career back. So, you got anything else to say? <laughs> no, no, I'm good, man. That, um, good enough for me. I, I already, I already fucking ate her. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get the other questions a little. Okay, here it goes. Uh, this one's from for the load. Jesus. Nah. <laughs> uh, he would watch our content. Jacob Edwards asked. Do you guys think spoilers help or hurt, financially or otherwise, be it comics, games, movies, etc.? It was brought up today at the shop he works at and got a lot of people talking. Um, I think it's a case-by-case basis, honestly. Like, I think it depends on what you're spoiling. Yeah, I agree. Like, Avengers Endgame, I was like, do not talk to me yeah. until I've seen this fucking movie. Yeah. You know, if it's like a franchise where they've had like 10 years to build up stuff, yeah. like... Marvel. If if I'm if I was going into Endgame and someone would spoil it, I probably would have punched them right in the face. Same. So uh, I think it depends on what it is. Now, if I'm going into a DC movie and someone's like, "Yeah, the villain dies at the end," I'm going to be thankful for that Agreed. because now I can peacefully fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. I agree. I, I like. I guess like it's like I guess. If it's been done in the comics, I guess it's not too big of an issue. It's but, like, I'm not going to intentionally try and spoil it. Like, I'm not an yeah. asshole. Yeah, no, it, it comes to the TV show. <coughs> I, think, I think it could possibly help the TV show as well. Like, hey, man, this thing happens. It's kind of juicy. Right. It's like, oh, okay, I'll check that out. That sounds kind of cool. In video games, I can see where you wouldn't want an ending spoiled. But okay. sometimes, like, when it comes to... Because I know you told me some things about video games. I'm like, okay, that sounds kind of dope. But right. I would like to see that play out. Like the video so, games too, it just everything in general. Like yeah, there, there's, there's yeah. like not definitive, but there's like an expiration where like, all right, you should, if you were going to, you would have by now. Yeah. So like, I don't like, care. If, I don't care if it spoiled you because you should have seen it already. Like, because if you have, if you haven't <coughs> seen Star Wars right. Episode Seven and you don't know Han Solo dies, yeah. I'm not even gonna give you a spoiling alert on that. Right. You should already know the Han Solo. Especially dies. now that that whole trilogy's wrapped up now. Like it doesn't. Yeah, like, that movie came out in 2015. That's the first one of that. Trilogy. Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. See, I I never really read comics that much. So, I mean, like, if someone spoiled a comic for me, I'm not going to be that upset about it. Agreed. But, like, a video game, if someone... Like, if I'm over here playing, like, what's the newest game that just came out? Dead Horizon. The first... Is that, is that even the name of it? I don't think... <laughs> you mean Death Stranding? Yeah, Death Stranding. Yeah. Like, if I, right. if I had just got into that game, I didn't buy it. Right. But if I had just bought that game and someone's like, hey, man, this is how it ends, I'd be like, okay... That's cool. Thanks for letting me know that. I'm glad. I'm glad. In that situation, I would like to know how that ends. So I'll do it that way. Okay, I'm playing it the right way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or if I'm like, hey, can you tell me about you know Red Red Dead Redemption Two? Right. I'm like, how does it end? Because I'm curious and I want to know if I should buy it. I would like to hear the ending before I purchase right. it. I already, I had that spoiled for me before I finished the game. Because yeah. I mean, to be fair, they, they have a track. They have a pretty decent track record of what they do at the end of all their games. Yeah. Like, so, like, I knew, I, I had pretty much already knew what was going to happen anyway, yeah. but I still have not beaten the game. And they're like, okay, well, this is how it ends. I'll be like, oh, okay, that sounds really cool. I'm gonna go. I think, I think spoilers in video games are a lot better. Would be, Same, would, be, say, yeah. would motivate me more to buy the game. Yeah, I'd like to see how it played out in my face. I know, I know the only movie I think we ever had spoiled for us because we asked for it was Detective Pikachu. Yeah, because <laughs> Fire Alarm went off. Went off. Um, and I was like, I, I was gonna go back to see Terry Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, although we did get free tickets because you know, they had to make us leave. I used mine on John Wick Three. It was really good. <laughs> I don't remember what I used mine on. If I'm being honest with you, <laughs> I remember honestly that might have been a movie me and you watched. I Probably. I think it might have been um, that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. I can't think of the name. Once upon a time. Yeah, once upon. I think I'm thinking about using it on Once Upon a Time. Hell yeah. Um, movies, I don't, I don't want anything spoiled if I'm really excited about the movie. Same now, like, like when we were going to Harley Quinn, 
Right. I wasn't excited about that at all. Fair so enough, if someone yeah. in line was to be like, hey, man, this is how it ends, I'd be like, right. all right. And honestly, even cool. before I watch movies, I, I usually watch, uh, there's this guy called Jeremy Johns on YouTube, watch him all the yeah. time. And then, of course, I, I, I trust Chris Stuckman. He's like yeah. the best guy ever. Now, if we would have that one movie, what was the name of it? Um, had the kid from Stranger Things that I want to punch in the face. Uh, the Turning. The Turning. Yeah, if someone would have spoiled that for me, that probably would have saved us some time. Yeah, it really would have. Because that movie sucked. It, it was terrible. I wish someone would have spoiled that one for me. Same. And then I probably would have made the guy in front of me mad for it's me eating Reese's. Yeah, that was good. Bro, Reese's Pieces, bro. I've been, I've been getting into Reese's Pieces. Dude. Yeah, bro. Like, like, I'm sorry, fun. guy who was sitting in front of me in that movie. If you didn't want me to eat Reese's Pieces, then you should convince the theater to not sell them. You arrogant fuck. <laughs> if you're watching this, man, I hope you had a horrible time with that movie. Uh, who are we kidding? You did. <laughs> you, you did. You did <laughs> suck. And I, and I, I enjoy those Reese's pieces. Every single Reese's pieces I crunched upon was delicious. <laughs> God, dude. Every, every chocolate, every peanut butter <laughs> covered chocolate morsel. I enjoyed better than that film. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like, I like the term crunch upon. <laughs> I crunched upon. Uh, I do like that question though. Sam that's that's, really that's juicy. I like it. I, I think in some situations it can help, in some situations it can hurt. Exactly. Like, like just, if it's a Marvel depends. movie, it's going to hurt because I'm going to punch someone in the face. Right, yeah. If they I feel like Marvel the movie. shitty ones. <laughs> yeah, like Thor 2. But Thor... Oh, yeah, Dark yeah. World. Yeah. Not, not Ragnarok. Ragnarok was good. Agreed, and I love it. <laughs> Even the first one wasn't bad, but 2 was... If someone wild. spoiled Captain America 1 for me, I would, that would have saved me 2 hours of my life. Yeah, that's... I, I, as... That's, I don't know. Back in the day, I liked it, but like I hated it the first time I watched. But then, be- then better, better Marvel movies came along. And yeah, it just kind of got lost in translation. I think I did like, like when it, it first came like, out. It did, it did break new ground for me. I was like, this was great. I loved watching yeah, this. <laughs> the first of the first uh, Captain America was really boring. Yeah, it was for the remote. Like most of it was really boring. But I think it's also because no one gives a shit about World War One. It's true. Yeah, yeah. those are the least exciting of the World right. Wars. There's only two. Of World them. War Three. <laughs> Cowabunga it is. Oh, I like how that's just no longer a thing. Like, yeah, no, we'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll blow over. All right, so hopefully we answered your question. I think we did. Agreed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you spoil an album? Is that, can you like, hey, man, this is how this album sounds. It's going to suck. No, not really. Yeah, I think I'll be more opinion. Agreed. Yeah, I tried. And the other one, if it'll come on, lo- load. Okay. And the other one... Who sent us the question like like literally a couple hours before we even started recording? Yeah, which is good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Anthony Mendez. If you could add one skill to yourself for the price of another, mm-hmm. what would you choose? Hmm. Now, am I getting rid of a skill to get a new one? Yeah, basically. Okay. Uh, I don't really oh, have any skills. skills. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I would, uh, see, I'm already good at public speech, so I don't want to get rid of that one. Um, maybe writing. Yeah. I would, I would gain as a skill, and I would probably lose, um, I don't, I don't know, I don't have any skills. Same. Uh, because you've seen the script, you, you've heard the scripts that yeah. I've, I've had to write for this. <laughs> Mainly for the album reviews, and they're rough. <laughs> um, I don't really, I don't really have any skills. For real, man. Can I just like cut off my arm and get it and gain something? For right. Because <laughs> I would like to be better at writing. Um. I mean, I, ha- I have the mind. I, ha- I ha- oh, we're both creative. Agreed. And we're both good at public speech. So I don't want to lose either of those two. I just want to gain the ability to write better. <laughs> right. But if I have to lose something, then I can... My kneecap. Get rid of my kneecap. One of them. Okay, fair. I'll just walk around the limp leg. Yeah, that's a skill, walking normally. Yeah. We'll get rid of that skill. Yeah, I'll just trip over everything. Yeah. Um, shout out. I finally, I finally brought the painting into frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I did. 
Yeah, you did because we, we finally remembered. Yeah, you you remembered. Yeah, I, I we give we give each other credit here. You remembered, and I grabbed it. So I yeah, it's teamwork. Team yeah, yeah. Makes a fucking dream work. Woo! Woo! Boogaloo noises. What? Victory screech. Was a shout out to. Uh, our good friend Emily Wright for painting this nice, beautiful picture of Macho Bot. And if you don't know who Macho Bot is, then go back and watch some of our older album reviews from 2018. Yeah. He is a beautiful. He's, he's an asshole. Yeah, he's he's careful. A, be careful. He owns a taser. Yeah, it's very painful. Yeah. Luckily, you wanted to fill it once. <laughs> it's awful every time. <laughs> That's the spirit. You remember when we uh, lost him and then he roasted me for you know not yeah. following up on that? Yeah. Because he's right. It'll be Jonathan tried. Yeah. He he he's, he made a couple of videos yeah. here and there. I was like, oh yeah, we'll we'll do some stuff. Because we were just not smart and didn't think of a payoff to it. That's all it was. Yeah. And then I didn't. It, I should have waited a little bit to do it. Yeah, until we thought of a good plan. Because I did it, like, right before you got real busy at Walmart. Yeah, true. Because, like, I was, like, right before Thanksgiving. And I was like, man, I should, probably should wait until it calms down a little. <laughs> we have regrets. Yeah, we do. <laughs> do you ever just go back and, like, look at the old stuff? Because, like, cause like, one of my favorite podcasts... Uh, I'm going like, to go pull up my channel real quick to make sure I'm getting it right. Hell yeah. But, um... Oh yeah, so cheap plug. Um, we have a Twitter at the Macho Bur- Burgers. I the think. Macho Burp. <laughs> it's, at, it's at the Macho something, all right. Actually, all of our stuff is in the description. Just look in the description. And follow us on everything, please. Yeah. Please, we that we highly need it. Follow us on everything. Ask us questions on everything. Ask us questions. Um, please love us. Please. Show if you have friends who need stuff to watch. Right. It's a good way to kill an hour. Yeah, 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 it's a good way to kill an hour, 30 minutes, depending on how much you want to watch us at. Your channel. Uh, we have playlists? I made these. How did I not know that? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that was good wow. Idea. Wowzers. Electric Boogaloo. We are at currently 24 views. Also, questions are good too. If you want to see us do food challenges... Put put it put it put it put it. Ask us. Tell us. Yeah, we'll we're, do we're, it. we're up for good food challenges. Yeah, we are. AKA mukbangs. We'll do it. Google it. Hey Google, what is a mukbang? According to Wikipedia, mukbang, mukbang or miokbang is a live online audiovisual broadcast in which a host eats food while interacting with their audience. Usually done through a webcast, mukbang became popular in South Korea in 2010. Foods ranging from pizza to noodles are consumed in front of a camera for an online audience. Yeah, so if you want to see us do a food challenge, bunk bang, <laughs> let us know. We're always down to eat. Look at us. Yeah, I'm always down to eat. I know I know. We, we, we've been... Last year, our one New Year's re- resolution was to eat at Popeye's. <laughs> we never made it. No, so. we still have not been at Popeye's. <laughs> and I had first a, of all, it's just they're, over, they're overhyped now, the whole chicken sandwich yeah. thing. Yeah. Two, they're not that great in general. And three, the one where that's near us will give you diarrhea every time. Yeah. So I'm terrified. I do I, not want to do it. I have ate there since 2016, and it's now 2020. Because the chicken sandwich actually <laughs> does look pretty good, because I saw a commercial, yeah. and I was like, it does look good, but like I'm just scared. See, I had a really good chicken biscuit for breakfast this morning. Where'd you go? Bojangles. Ooh, Bojangles is the shit, yeah. bro. Tomorrow, I'm going to go to the... Uh, Claremont Cafe. Oh, I love that. On my way home, I'm gonna call it in. Yeah, get me and Papa Nelson something to eat. Hell yeah, man! I used to always get a bologna sandwich from there uh, when I worked in for HSM. Yeah, good shit, bro. Because they delivered it, and I was like, oh, oh every, every yeah. Morning, bro. We're not gonna do a call on this bit because I kind of ran out of people to call, and I'm afraid to call just random people that I don't know that yeah. well. Uh, <laughs> well. We'll bring it back though at some point. Yeah, we'll bring it, it it's back. Good, it's good. <clears throat> uh oh yeah, and uh, this year for. Uh, Cause like we like to try to plan ahead for some things. Not really the podcast. Podcast is just more like we answer questions and we just come up with random up uh, just random things to talk about. Agreed. Um. So we're gonna plan ahead because I know in 2017 I did I did a little Christmassy stuff. I did the two songs where I sang "Last Christmas" by Wham. That was good. And Santa Baby 
by Kylie Minogue. Oh, I, I did Kylie Minogue's version of the song. She, I voted she for, wasn't the original. I voted right. for Last Christmas. No, no, I think I voted for Santa Baby. Yeah, you voted for Santa Because I was like, I really want to see him sing that. Um, <laughs> because it tied, you know? Yeah. And so we're going to do something similar this year. Agreed. But do you want to see us sing the song or do you want us to make a music video? Because if you want to see a music video, I have the perfect song in yeah, mind. Yeah, we do. And it's Christmas rapping. Uh, I forgot who sings it. It's by the something. The Waitresses. The Waitresses. That's who sings it. And if you've never heard it, you've probably heard it in the Drake and Josh Christmas movie they did on Nickelodeon because they had Miranda Cosgrove cover it. Yeah, they did. And it's pretty good. More impressive, for Nickelodeon, they let her just keep the original way it, it yeah. is because I don't know one line is, damn, I, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Um... I was expecting Nickelodeon to make her say, oh, dang. Oh, dang. Uh, oh, darn. Uh, but, like, no, nah, they just kept it. Like, all right, I like it. All right, Nickelodeon, get a little spicy. Right. I blame, that's, uh, that's really not a spicy cuss word, I know. I, bl- I blame Dan Schneider. Him and his fucking foot fetish. Yeah. Um, I don't know who's worse, him or Tarantino. Also, if you want to see us bring back the album review, let us know. Yeah, well, well, if you like it, if you want like like an album, you want us to review it, put it down below. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Shut up. Also, we're, we're going to try and do... Uh, we're, we're working on research, but we're going to do a uh, albums ranked series. I don't oh. know when that's going to start. Oh, yeah. Cause don't, have... don't get your hopes on it just yet, but... Because <laughs> I have a whole folder. Yeah, he does. Um, folders. Currently, I'm sitting at 38 bands that I bands and artists that I have ranked their albums. If you want us to best listen orders. to other people, just let us know. I'm going to name off the ones I've, I've done so far. I've done Fall Out Boy, Weezer, Linkin Park, Kanye West, Panic at the Disco, Tyler the Creator, AFI, My Chemical Romance, The Killers, Silver Sun Pickups, Cage the Elephant, Gym Class Heroes, Foo Fighters, Stone Sour, Paramore, Kendrick Lamar, Chance the Rapper, our boy Macklemore, yeah. Foster the People, Eminem, Gorillas, Bloodhound Gang, Cake, Gary Clark Jr., The White Stripes, Blink-182, TV on the Radio, The Fray, AWOL Nation, Kid Cudi, Kings of Leon, MGMT, Audio Slave, Good Charlotte, Chevelle, Green Day, Three Days Grace, and Tame Impala. Damn. Tame Impala was actually the most recent one just because he just put out a new album. Yeah, that's really good. I love it. So actually, I put it as best because it was actually a lie. I really enjoyed it. All the way through. I just uh, that's the spirit. I always fucking forget it. <laughs> Fuck. I did an album review on an EP. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh god. Fucking the last album. Uh, fucking. Wow. More people has viewed my review on how to save a life than they have hybrid theory. <laughs> See, I, the reason I stopped doing because my whole plan was to go through all of Linkin Park discovery. Hey, hey. Whenever I thought about bringing the album review back, he had, he had already died, and I didn't want I didn't want people to be like, "Oh, you're only saying this album's good because he's dead." Right. So I, that's why I chose not to do any more Linkin Park album smart, reviews. Smart. Uh, that's also why I probably won't do anything with Audio Slave or Soundgarden. Fair enough. Of um, right. Also, if you want to see us eat fifty nuggets again, I'll do it. Same, because I can do that no problem, honestly. Oh, um, <laughs> With wow, sauce. man, I'm looking at like this is this is old age right here. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, probably one of my favorite my favorite podcasts it was uh, the podcast we do with Chris Walsh. Yeah. That's like one of my favorite ones. I watched it. I haven't like, watched it. I haven't watched it in a while because that's the only one I'll go back to and watch every yeah. now and then, like all the way through. That's back when we were still stopping at 57 minutes. <laughs> 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 um. Actually, I think the one with James is still the longest one, I think. It's like 126, 130-ish. But yeah. Because like, one, that one's 57, that one's 57, and that one's 57. And that one's also 57. So that's really interesting. Um, but yeah, that one was just so fun because Chris is, he's so fucking funny. Yeah, he is, man. Uh, he's, a, he's a great guy. So like, I, I would like to bring him back on here if, if he's down to do it again. Right, that'd be fun. I like that. Okay, I could probably easily reach out to him. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, because it was so much fun. And we also ate baby food together, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, you got a <laughs> fucking great chunk in the middle. Was yikes. Yikes, yeah. <clears throat> and, like, if you go back and look, you see episode one, two, three, five, six, seven of, like, the original podcast. We had to take four down. Oh, why? 
Uh, well, the guy we were interviewing. Oh yeah, no, okay, no, you're good. No, let's not dox anybody. Yeah, no, I got you. Oh, I'm not gonna name names. Oh, we uh, still yeah. the guy he was interviewing. Mm-hmm. He had, like he had just separated from his late from his like ex girlfriend, yeah. and like he was telling me about it. And then like he never named her name at all, yeah. like at all. And then like she was like, "We're gonna take you and the guy you recorded it with." The court and I was like, they can't legally do that. Yeah, no, you, you never named the name. Exactly. Like if you named if you if you said her name on here, yeah. I don't understand. Agreed. But you never named the name. Right. And if you would legally, have, you're protected. Like <laughs> and if you would have named the name, I would have easily censored that out. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I didn't know much about editing, but I still knew how to mute things. Right. I'm not retarded. Um. So it literally could have been anyone yeah. in that situation. And then he was like, he's like, bro, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you just take it down. So I was like, all right. Fuck it, yeah, that was an easy hundred bucks. And I, you know, bought, so I uh, bought a little bit of equipment at that point. Would like you, a, you it classify was, that as, like, funds to Macho Burger? Yeah, I, I, I did. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, it really that's, just... That's our best video. It we literally made a hundred bucks from Yeah, it. <laughs> it literally went into, like, getting food and shit and just random supplies that we would need for other videos. So, yeah. See, I forget. I f- every time I go back and look at our old shit, I forget that we did the blindfold face painting. Oh God! <laughs> Fucking insane wing challenge. Yeah, and shout out to Angela. I mean, she really did try to paint our faces blindfolded. <laughs> like, I give her credit, man. Like, cause I, I, I bet it was difficult trying to paint someone's face <laughs> while you can't see shit. <laughs> so I, mean, I, I, I give her credit, man. I, I, it's just one of those things that I forget that we did because, like, I just. You know, I just I don't go back and look at our old stuff, but like that's our highest viewed on the Macho Burger Show Insane Wing Challenge. I still like to try that because like I, I've tried the one below that and it's not it's not really that hot, so I yeah. feel like I could do Insane pretty well. Yeah, I thought that too. Yeah, but you're better with spicy food now, so yeah, yeah, it's true. But I don't. You probably it, it, uh, it, you, you could get through for sure. Yeah, it's probably gonna hurt my butthole though. True, but I would use <laughs> ranch. I would I would use ranch, but not to cool it, just because like I like ranch with wings. Yeah, true. Oh man! I would need it for the fucking See, blazing wings. What's really interesting with, with the fifty nugget challenge? Um, we actually didn't eat all fifty in the video. We actually did stop because you know he was about to throw up. So I was like, I don't want to make him. I don't want to cause him to throw up. Right? Because I just didn't want to clean it up. Who? Other guy was doing it with. I oh, think okay. it was KJ that was there. Oh, okay. Too skinny. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Because I was like, fifty nuggets is nothing for me. Sorry for the burp. Getting confused. And then, like, a couple days later, I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if I really can do it. Right. And I found the trick. Don't eat the sauce. Uh, 50 nugs, I can do with sauce. 100, I'd agree with you. Yeah, because, like, like, 50, 50 I, don't, like, I, don't, I can do with sauce. Because, like, I was more. dipping it in sauce. I realized, by, like, number 30, I was getting fuller. And I was like, yeah, yeah, well, I'm going to try if I can do it without the sauce. Right. It's so much easier without. Because the sauce fills you up. It's thick. It stays a while. You're thick. Oh. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> Oh, also, we're, we're going to try the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. I don't know when yet, but we'll yeah. do it. Because it's on the two for six. So it's, on, it's on the two for six menu. Finally, it's like, that's the cheapest way to get it. We haven't updated our logo in five years. It's still the same burger with a thumb pointing out that I want to say Jonathan made. Or, his, I don't know, let me call him. I'll, I'll see if I can find him. I'll, I'll just, if he's online, I'll. No, he's not online. But I'll shoot him a message, though. Oh, he was active 23 minutes ago. Um, I might try to call him. But he might be at work. Oh. Yeah, he might be at work. But it was either him or his brother that made it. If he doesn't answer, I'm going to assume it was his brother. Yeah. Oh, so stop calling. Stop. Stop. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, who wouldn't stop? I was like, well, why is that call? Yeah, so it was, either, it was either Jonathan that made it or his brother Chad that made it. And I want to give credit to the correct person. Right. But I'm pretty sure it was Chad. Uh, we have so many fucking just random announcements. Yeah, we here. do. The Macho Taco was fun. Uh, I still have to try that one too, just because like I, I I get what you're saying, but I still feel like I could do it. 
Yeah, I mean, I'll do it with you, even though I know what's going to happen the next day. Right. I'm going to feel like fucking shit. I feel that. See, I wish Jonathan would post more on here, because he, he, he used to post all the time. He did the little, he was doing like little bitty Let's Plays and stuff. And he that was just, cool, dude. Yeah, because he knows how to do that, I don't. I'm hoping when we, get, when we get a place, we can start streaming. Oh, yeah, because we, we, got, we got this nice TV that I bought yeah. myself for Christmas. See, I'm going to show you this thing, and this is like probably the best thing I think I've ever fucking made. It's because it's so random. Other uh, sound to it. But, uh... Hold on. I just realized we could, we could probably play the little sound. Because, like, what am I going to do? Copyright myself. And if you can't... If you don't know what we're watching, just go to Macho Burger Productions, scroll all the way down to the video that says what is happening. <laughs> so you can follow along with us at home. Or not. I'm not your parent. <laughs> oh, shit, skis. I didn't hit the actual shit. Oh, we have... Oh, we have 92 subscribers now. Hell oh, yeah. The guy that we were replying to in the comment, he actually did subscribe to us. That was one of them, and then we yeah, got another one. Yeah, that's, that's good. But for some reason, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, notify me when people subscribe anymore. So. You or, or when they or when they comment either. Yeah. I mean, it notifies me on on the computer, but it doesn't notify me on my phone. Fair enough. But it might actually notify me on the lab on the iPad. But the iPad has been dead for like a week <laughs> because it's broken. It really is. It's fucking. It's on its last leg, man. I gotta put that thing out of its misery soon. Fair enough. Uh, oh, here it is. It's probably one of my favorite things I've ever made. It's because there's a bunch of stock footage of static. Yeah. It took me like an hour to make this. <laughs> it was fucking fun. My dad was terrified because he was hearing it. He was hearing the sounds from the computer and he was like, what the fuck's going on, man? The oh, dark web. He looks science dead. I like it. <laughs> yeah. It was like, what? <laughs> so unnecessary, but I loved it. Agreed. Okay. Team Stack's weird, but I love it. Uh, oh, okay. Jonathan said, sorry, bro. Ringer was off, but I did. I did. So Jonathan did it, and then Chad digitalized it. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, cool, cool. So credit to both of them. Cool, cool. Uh, if you want. To call back, you'll be on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Get someone to call us for a change. Yeah, well, Brooke called us last week. Yeah, after we called her five fucking times. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, Chad Jacobs and Jonathan Jacobs both get credit. Well, Jonathan, Jonathan Jacobs already gets credit for this, so right, we'll yeah. throw the credit to Chad. There you go. I <laughs> <laughs> see that. Get him to call me, but either get it, either get a quieter chainsaw, or just don't have a fucking chainsaw. Sorry, my neighbors. I hate my neighbor, man. I really do. So don't you be going down to anyway? What the fuck? Like, why are you? Why do you? What do you do? I mean, yeah. I know he sells firewood, well, but like, why? It's sundown. Soon. <laughs> it's not even camp season. But the sun's gone. Oh, is it? It's yeah, gone. What you, yeah. What are you doing? I want to see if he's gonna call us. Go right. inside. <laughs> the sun is gone. <laughs> go. I mean, it's probably like a little bit less, but that's it. If, if I, I sundown has happened. If I hear the chainsaw go off and I hear screaming, I'm not going to go outside to see what's going on. Same. Hopefully enough Resident Evil will know you shouldn't do that. See, I'm white, but I'm like, hey, let's go check out that weird noise on it. <laughs> <laughs> not a... Aw, oh, damn. All right. He's at work. That was right. <laughs> what time do you usually start recording that? I'm no idea. We, 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 we record this at different times every single time. Sure. I just want to make sure like, we have to stop it and make it start again. Oh, uh, we have a couple minutes before. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, as soon as it like hits like 50-something, I'll be like, I'll be looking. All right, cool. Because I know if you've watched all the way through, you've noticed that uh, our camera just randomly cuts off. I don't know how to program it to where it doesn't do that at 51 minutes. But at 51 minutes, it just shuts off. And then I caught it. I caught it last on on a electric boogaloo. I caught it, and we're only we're only gone for thirty seconds. Yeah. So if you're watching, don't worry. There's only a picture of me. There's only a picture of our of my face, his face, and Brooke's face. Pace it over uh, 
the uh, tag team Natural Disasters with manager Jimmy Hart, uh, or Mouth of the South Jimmy Hart, uh, <laughs> for like 30 seconds. And so it's not very long this time around. So it's not like the whole video. I loved your description of that. <laughs> well, it, it's Typhoon, Earthquake, and Mouth of the South Jimmy South. I mean, Jimmy Hart. <laughs> Jimmy South. <laughs> you said South a lot. Yeah, oh. dude. Oh man, let's see what else. See, okay. So if everyone, if anyone was wondering why we took a why, why I took a break in the first place from Mach- Macho Burger, it wasn't because any any personal reason or anything. It's because whenever uh, I started doing in 2016, we started doing the March Madness uh, predictions because I forgot how fucking crazy it was gonna be. Right. So. I did the first four, not realizing, literally, two nights later, I was going to have to do the first round. Shit. I had to, had to wait for all of the first four to be done. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the next night, it starts. The tournament starts. It's either, like, it's either the f- night... I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, two nights started, so I had to record, literally, everything super fucking quick. So, and then I was like, okay, I get a break, first round, second round starts, literally like two days after. So I was like, fuck. So I had to jump back into the second round, and then I got a break for like two days. For like, for like two, three days. So I did Sweet 16, then I do, then I go right back into the Elite Eight, and I had to go right back into the Final Four. And if you're wondering why there was never a final video for like who I thought was going to win the championship... I got so overwhelmed with me and Jonathan having to do the WrestleMania 32 predictions. Then we had to do the punishments because we tied, shit. and we also did a we also did a vlog. There was so much shit, yeah, like com- back to back, like coming shit. out back that I never had time to sit down and fin- like make right. a finals who I thought was gonna win. Even in the middle of that, I did a vlog in the middle of it. And then, if you can't tell, the last two videos after the vlog was both Jonathan. Jake was both Jonathan. He did light, he did one video, then he did another one, and then there was a gap for two years <laughs> before I finally threw something else on there. <laughs> right. Fuck. So, if anyone's wondering, hold on, it just hit fifty one. So I'm gonna see when it stops. So, if anyone's wondering why there was a gap, that's why because I got I was doing so much shit back to back to back that I was just so burnt out. Killed you. I got you. I'm waiting to see when it stops. <laughs> Because this is going to be interesting. So then we will know specifically what time we need to look. All right. I don't think it's going to stop. I think today's going to be the day. It's going to be like you know what? I'm going to give these. I'm going to give these guys. I'm, I'm going to give it to them. Okay, you keep a watch on that. I'm going to keep scrolling up. <laughs> ah. Is there a uh, notification? Oh, it's a challenge. Oh, no, we stopped. It stopped. Boom. Ha ha! Boom. So you, oh, yeah. you probably lost us for a second there. But we're back. Uh, or maybe you didn't. Maybe we're just so good at editing you don't even notice. Which in that case cut this part out. <laughs> yeah. What did John Boy say? Uh, he said, yeah man, just let me know a week in advance when you plan on f- plan of filming. That way we can be better. We can better work when I can call for the pod X ass. Anyway. So, <laughs> podcast. We usually do it film on Wednesdays. Fuck. Film on Wednesdays. And. I spelled Wednesdays completely fucking wrong. Yeah, you did. But it's cool. Because it, it, is, it is spelled a weird way. Whoever whoever invented the spelling of Wednesday, fuck you. Right. Wednesday. And I still spelled it wrong. I don't care. I think if I was going to spell Wednesday, I would say. Oh, I was right originally. I just forgot a fucking. I'd probably spell it W E N D S E Y. Yeah, I forgot. Wednesday. When, 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 yeah. Wednesday. This is W I N D S day. See, this is why people hate Wednesdays, man. Whoever invented Wednesdays, fuck you. Fuck you. Whoever invented the weeks, just fuck you. Yeah, man. Every day. You should have made the weekend longer. <laughs> uh, we usually film on a Wednesday and occasionally. Oh my god, okay. Bro, is the only reason there's seven days in the week is because that's what it says in the Bible? Probably. Who wrote the Bible? God. <laughs> the Kool Aid Man. I had a weird fucking flip. I got a weird. Oh, over the weekend, I, I was, 
I was visiting my girlfriend uh, at her college over the weekend, and uh, you know, I I met, I met her sisters and everything. And I went to go pee, and I had like, this really weird revelation that like, if the Kool Aid Man is God, that means the Hawaiian Punch guy is Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can see it. Cause, Cause, yeah. Because, because, so, like, for communion, we could just use Hawaiian punch. Yeah, and so like, think about the it. blood of Jesus. Christ. Think about it. Both products are typically red in the commercials. Like, I know they have different flavors, but in the commercials, what color do you see the most? Red. Yeah. Red. I'm just saying, makes the, sense. The, the, the more this podcast goes on, the more you, the more you're making me a believer <laughs> that Kool Aid Man is God, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, <laughs> so he's a Hawaiian punch guy. <laughs> But, but but if Mr. Peanut was the one who was brought back to life, what does that make Mr. Peanut? Wouldn't he be Jesus Christ? Well, I mean, in the Bible, Jesus Christ brought, brought back someone back to life. He brought that one guy that was dead for like three days back to life. Lazarus. Yeah. Oh, my God. The Peanut got goddamn Lazarus. Holy shit, so, bro. So does, does the term goddamn now exist or is a Kool-Aid man? Got, or is, a, is a Kool-Aid dam? Kool-Aid dam. <laughs> Kool-Aid damn it. <laughs> Hawaiian Punch Christ. The more you listen to this podcast, either the weirder you're going to be or the more knowledgeable you're going to be. Stay sure. woke. Now, if we get enough knowledge, we can get a Lamborghini with our bookshelves. Sure. <laughs> knowledge. Knowledge. Fuck that guy. What's he doing now? <laughs> let's, let's, let's look him up. Okay. The knowledge guy. Knowledge. Knowledge Lamborghini guy. Knowledge. Let's look up knowledge. Oh, that's 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 clearly not him. He was, no, he was a white guy. Yeah, agreed. That is. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? YouTube poop? Oh, bro. Oh, man, we'll get to watch that later. Yeah, what is this guy's name? Uh, let's just Google him. Why don't you're in my garage? You're in my Lamborghini. Copy. We're gonna he go looks, to Google. He looks like a kid I know. He looks like our friend Ergab. Knowledge, you know, <laughs> Ethan. If you're watching this, are you are you the knowledge guy? Copy, paste, enter. Carlos Castaneda. I probably did not pronounce that correctly. Close enough. It's not him. He's dead. It's not him. Never mind. Uh knowledge. Who was this guy? Uh, is, is, this a, is this a joke? Because now we can't find any information about him. Oh, who was the Lamborghini guy? Oh, I don't give a fuck about Coldplay. Because this guy was everywhere on YouTube in like 2015. Every every video I watched on YouTube, I could not watch without watching him say Lamborghini first. Um, and now I don't know. <laughs> Tayo Lopez? Or Ty Lopez? Um, I know whatever he was selling was definitely a pyramid scheme. Yeah, I agree. Oh, come on. Oh, oh there you That's him. Yeah. His name is, uh, Ty, Ty Lopez. Lopez. Okay, let's actually go to, like, this. Yeah. Let's go back to Google. Type that back in. Uh... Okay, cool. There we go. Yeah! He looks like a Mexican Brendan Urie. He really does. He really does. He has a Twitter? He, has a look, he, he looks like a love child of Brendan Urie and the dude who played Robbie on uh, Victorious. I was thinking like the love child of uh, the guy that plays Mac on Always Sunny. Yeah, bro. And... Um, Brandon Neary. So, if like, Rob, what's his last name? McKellen. So, if Rob McKellen and uh, Brandon Neary just fucked, had a baby, it'd be Ty Lopez. Agreed. I see it. <laughs> oh, so John, the message is back again. Okay, man. Quirred. Word. Oh, he's going to port of the Q on Quirred. accident. Quirred. I'm going to put my my, my use in Dideru. Hell yeah. Or hell yeah. That's what I always use. I use either in Dideru or hell yeah. It really depends on the situation. Hell yeah. I tell most people if I'm, if I'm like I'm just like fair warning like if, if I just say hell yeah chances are I don't care about what you just said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean sometimes I do care. Or sometimes I just can't think of anything else to say. Exactly. I'm like, I'm just like, oh, oh hell. So although I'm saying hell yeah, to like oh my, my kid just died. Oh hell yeah. I mean, oh, uh, 
And like usually, I uh, usually oh, Mr. Kid Rip. All right. <laughs> usually we say Miss Miss Blank Rip. Yeah. Uh, Inside that, joke. Uh, we're not going to explain it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to explain it. <laughs> I'll explain it later on. Uh, yeah, probably. Like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, why don't you get Brooke in person? <laughs> Look, so if we ever go to Texas, yeah. we'll record one of these. <laughs> I'm kidding. We probably won't have time. We'll just call her up again one day. <laughs> you really like, oh, how am I Ex- Explain. Explain. Explain yourself. Uh, what the fuck? Boobies. That's not what I want. <laughs> not on my Christian computer! <laughs> I'm kidding. This thing is... Uh, well, honestly, I haven't looked at a portal on this laptop. Yet. Mia Khalifa. <laughs> That's, I don't like her. I don't like, I don't like her porn. I don't like her face. Who? Mia Khalifa. Oh, yes, I don't like I'm not a big fan. Uh, titties are too fake for my taste. Agree. <laughs> I'm not worried about Same. people listening to this far end. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I edit them, but I don't listen to this yeah, far. I just right. skip around, make sure the audio links up, and they're right. good. <laughs> and I'll, I'll have to go back in and edit like one second. Yeah. Not See, gonna do it. Bro, one of my favorite running gags was during the album review was uh, the... The Triple H face I threw in there for the <laughs> Please Stand By. <laughs> that was like my favorite running joke. I put that, uh. You uh, put it after I threw up to you. Yeah. <laughs> they use that in Joker, too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah! <laughs> Someone watches Macho Burger Productions. Yeah, they no. Don't, they don't do that. No. <laughs> Whenever that started happening, I got really excited, and you and you and James got really confused. Yeah, I was like, what? And I was like, bro, watch it, bro. I, 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 I use that. I use that song, man. I use that song. <laughs> <laughs> but just enough just to get cleared of the copyright. Yeah. Just long enough. Because uh, Mike Schnoda didn't, didn't like that. True. I mean, he, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I didn't. His uh, label. I think yeah, his, the Warner Brothers didn't like that. Yeah. He used one second too much. Right. Thank you for that's every other second. Yeah, thank you for every other artist that's cool about it, like Kanye right. West and yeah. you know, Foster the People. If you're if you're a fan of Kanye West, you're not a fan of Kanye. You're a fan of yourself. Stay woke. It's true. Stay woke. <laughs> That'd be funny if that was the that was it. You say, man. You know, I just like I just look down into my cup of sadness. You trying to make that the end? Then? Uh, <laughs> no. Nah. Well, I'm gonna read your uh, obituary here. What? What? <laughs> from the future Kyle Dean <laughs> Kyle uh, insert middle name here Dean thanks for not doxing me <laughs> thanks for not doxing me there yeah, yeah. I, I also totally blanked on it I like the page I, you I like the page you opened it to with Finn Balor yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, your name your middle name actually blanked in my mind until after I realized oh okay that's his middle name right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, but I'm, I'm dead though? When do I die? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Is it soon? No. How far into the future are you from? <laughs> Distant. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dumbest answer. <laughs> I don't know. Distant. Is he going to doctor? Hey, either either talk quieter or get yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> make like Steve. Make. <laughs> That's 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 like Jordan Peele and Get Out. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do brain surgery. Yeah, right. Uh, thank you for everyone who uh, sent us questions. Send us more. You send us more, please. And video ideas. <clears throat> All of. Sorry, that was gross. I'm sorry. I liked it.
Was this a bad idea? Uh... Stay macho.